gonna be talking about exactly how I literally went from zero dollars a month exactly one year ago, all the way up to making 50K per month profit after tax, cash collected at only 20 more years old. Now, I know a lot of guys won't be able to do that, and I feel like I was a bit of an anomaly, and there's a lot of stuff that I did to actually make myself succeed this fast. And I'm gonna be pretty much breaking down all that in this video and also just talking about my story as well. Um, but essentially, over the past year, I've been living all over the world, just in random places, uh, with a bunch of my friends on my space, networking with top guys in the industry, and pretty much live my dream life. So that's essentially it. I'm gonna kind of be breaking down everything what actually helped me get there so fast and more probably my story, like I said. Um, essentially, I've been networking with top guys in space like uh, you know David Dre, William Brown, Charlie Morgan, Mike Thurston, CEO of Testosterone, or Jack Hopkins, and a bunch of other guys that I didn't mention, but also, by the way, I actually uh, beat Charlie Morgan in chess, by the way. And, uh, don't, don't tell him I said that, but anyways, let's get, let's get right into the video. So, how did this all start? Now, ever since I was young, I always hated, absolutely despised the idea of working nine to five or being some average ass guy, not doing anything with his life. I wanted ultimate freedom and I hated the idea of a nine to five. And anyways, fast forward after I graduated high school, I go to university. Now I was going to University of Western Ontario and essentially I went all the way to second year. Now in my second year, uh, there was multiple moments where I was like, okay, this shit is 100% not for me. I need to escape. And actually what happened is during my second year, at the time, I had no idea what SMA was or any sort of agency or I knew I knew a bit about online business like dropshipping, but that was pretty much it. And I just kept on telling everyone that I was going to drop out and start my own online business. I don't know what it was going to be. I just kept on telling everyone. And eventually it did came true. Anyways, I'll kind of explain the first story. So the first story, I was actually in business class, right? And we had a woman professor and I actually asked her, I stood up in front of everyone. I raised my hand. I said, ma'am. Have you ever ran a business before? This was like the, the first lesson. And she's like, oh no, I haven't. I'm like, okay, why are you teaching this? And she's like, oh, I'm just an accountant. I've, I've just, we pretty much just teach business. I'm like, okay, interesting. So I, I, I don't wanna, I don't really wanna make a scene, so I didn't really say anything, but it was a bit, it was a bit disrespectful. She actually got kind of mad. She started yelling at me a bit, but anyways. And there's also another moment where we were in another class and the teacher was telling us, okay, well, this is actually what you guys are doing. You know, you're gonna graduate uni. You guys are gonna get jobs after this and you're gonna get a high paying job and you're gonna love it. And everyone was nodding their head and I just felt like super isolated because I was like, whoa, this is 100% not for me. And I just absolutely hated the idea of working nine to five. I honestly thought it was legit like prison or like hell on earth if you actually worked in nine to five because there's always gonna be someone telling you where to be, what to do, how to act, and also controlling how much money you make, which is honestly the worst thing ever because trading your time for money is the fastest way to stay poor. I'm just gonna put that out there, right? Like I always had huge, huge, huge dreams of starting my own business. I was even thinking of buying a family one years ago just to have a business, just to tell people how to business because I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Anyways, fast forward, I finished second year, barely passing, pretty much almost failing all my classes actually. And in that summer, I realized, fuck, I need to do something. Otherwise I'm absolutely screwed, right? So anyways, I started scrambling and just kept on looking into YouTube videos of online business. And anyways, I come across a video of Charlie Morgan's and Charlie's a G, even though I beat him in chess, still absolutely G, I'm, I'm kind of joking. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I, I keep on watching Charlie's videos and I'm going through all of them and I finally convinced myself, okay, I'm gonna start an agency on September 1st and I'm gonna drop out a week before that. Anyways, fast forward to the end of the summer, it's about August 23rd and I sit down at the dinner table. And I tell my parents, guys, I'm dropping out. And they said, no, nope, you're not doing it. And I said, no, nope, I'm doing it, I'm dropping out. And keep in mind, I literally had a flight booked to my university town like a few days later. And also I had a 12 month lease uh, signed as well. And anyways, I managed to pull off a miracle, managed to convince them. I went on a two hour car ride with my dad up to Whistler. And I just told him, dad, I'm not working nine to five ever in my life. I'm dropping on university and I'm starting this online business. Now to hear that from a parent for the first time is probably a bit, uh, probably a bit concerning, but he did believe me because he actually did, he also ran his own business in the past. My dad's an absolute legend, by the way. And I was telling about all these online business models and kind of how SMA works and all this stuff. Eventually, he got convinced enough and they let me do it. We canceled the flights. I got a sublet for the 12 month lease. Now, I dropped out on August 25th and a week later, I started my agency. I joined Charlie's course and I also got a mentor, which was very, very important. Now, in this next three to four months, I pretty much went into this thing called nightmare mode. Now, what nightmare mode is, is essentially it's like monk mode, but at a very, very intense rate. So I didn't talk to anyone for about three to four months months besides my parents every two weeks over FaceTime and also besides the person at the front desk of the gym and also the grocery store clerk. Now that was it obviously besides sales calls and a few other calls that was pretty much it at least there was no other human interaction in person. I deleted everything. I deleted Instagram. I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't even text my old friends. I pretty much cut off everyone and just isolated. And I was working about 12 to 14 hours a day. Yo what's good guys. I just did a 
14 hour work day. I was also going to the gym every day for about an hour, hour and a half. I was meditating, visualizing, all this stuff. Now, this was a very, very, very important part of my life. This era literally shaped who I was today. And if I didn't do this, I would've been fucked. And during this monk mode, I had so many people tell me that it wasn't gonna work out, you're gonna go back to university, you have no skills, you, you literally can't provide any value, you, have to, you should just work in another company first and then start your own thing, all this crazy stuff. And I decided to just prove them wrong. Now, throughout these next few weeks, I started to sign my first clients and I got very, very, very excited. I was like, I was super, super excited. We just got another fucking client. I remember I was, I started crying because I was just had so much excitement. Cause once you put yourself in this position where you literally have to make it work, otherwise you're fucked. You, you're going to make it work. Right. Cause I burned all my bridges. I stopped talking to all my little friends. I cut off everyone in my past life. I literally dropped out of university without even making a dollar online. And I just cut out absolutely everything. Now I kept on signing more clients, signing more clients and a lot, a lot of setbacks. I sometimes don't have these thoughts of quitting, but I always have feelings of quitting, but I'm just not quitting um i'm just gonna keep on going and keep on pushing i just kept on kept on pushing through and eventually i hit 10k a month all right boys we just made fucking 10k a month how does this even fucking make sense dude so yeah i'm officially making 10k a month and it's like a wednesday at 2 30. <laughs> And throughout my days, I kept on kept on visualizing me literally traveling with other entrepreneurs in the space and just living my dream life because that's ultimately what I wanted. I want ultimate freedom and just the ability to book a flight the next day and just go like that. All right, now this story is actually a main, main, main turning point to my life and it's pretty much the only reason I was actually able to pull this all off. So I'm, I kept on visualizing me going on a trip with a bunch of other entrepreneurs and me living this whole dream life of just traveling the whole time and doing all this stuff. Anyways, I was doing this for weeks and weeks and weeks on end and this one random day, I decided to download discord for whatever reason i think it was to join some random other community anyways i'm going through all the other old communities just for fun and i go through this one called maxi it's like a entrepreneur networking one and i scroll through this random chat and i see this message from jordan f which is now uh, one of my best friends and also i did meet uh, nick nick study if you guys know him who's actually downstairs as i'm recording this youtube video anyways i see jordan's message and i text him immediately like literally right away after i saw this now this is actually on december 3rd uh 2022 Anyways, I literally text him right away and I say, yo, sorry, text Maxi, let's get into it. I'm down to split the villa, sing a Bollywood Super Flexible. Anyways, like, yeah, dope, super chill. And then we actually get on FaceTime. We instantly connect very, very fast. And essentially, he actually introduced me to Nick, who was also downstairs, like I said earlier, who's actually living with you right now. And then eventually we all get on a Zoom call. We absolutely hit it off. I already talked about memes, so I'm on God's and meetup, stuff like this. Making random inside jokes. And then one day out of nowhere, we decide to book a villa for like $10,000 a night. And we actually managed to get it for only $300 a night. Now, this is actually in Portugal. This, this wasn't the same villa as this one, um, but it was a different one. And I'll put this on the screen right now and start showing a bit of clips of it. But I literally faced on my parents. I'm like, yo, I'm going to Portugal in two days. I'm gonna book flights right now. Anyways, I literally go to Portugal. I meet these random guys on the internet a few weeks ago and we have the absolute time of our life. And we literally book another Airbnb all together at Greece's time. And this was actually the night before as well. So we literally book it, it was like the day or the night before. And we all fly together, a lot of fun. And we actually stay in Greece for a month. Now in this exact villa is actually where I did the interview with Charlie Morgan, which a lot of you guys know me from, where I went from zero to 30K per month in five months. Now, this was the ultimate turning point in my life because I started to get a lot of subscribers and a lot of traction. That's actually like the main thing that actually kicked off my brand in YouTube was this one video. And I I'd like to thank Charlie for that. <laughs> now, in these two months where I was in Portugal with Nick and Jordan, I felt like I was on the absolute top of the world, right? I was I was feeling so good about myself. I literally felt like I just absolutely made it. And here's when I kind of fucked up because I thought that I was so successful. And actually, when you think that you're so successful is actually when you stop trying so hard, right? Because when all my old friends were literally in university studying still for exams <laughs> and learning from professors that didn't have never run a business before, I was making 30K per month, doing whatever the fuck I want, staying in random villas in Europe, and. Uh, uh, networking with a bunch of sick guys and while they're just you know stuck at university and now they're gonna be working nine to five jobs now at this time i was actually posting quite a bit on instagram just showing off a bit of lifestyle everyone was asking me like bro what are you doing are you and everyone just started to get super super jealous and i started to get a bunch of haters and also a bunch of rumors starting now people were saying that i was running a pyramid scheme and a bunch of guys starting started telling people i was scamming everyone and i was running a pyramid scheme and all this shady stuff anyways uh this one guy specifically named cameron mcdonald and he's actually one of my old friends brothers anyways he just texted me out of nowhere he's like buddy you just can't handle the heat that comes with being an entrepreneur and he's like entrepreneur quotes because it's a myth. Uh, all, all this like random stuff says, I'll be your ancestors, super proud of you and looking down on you, proud of the dropout. Like how I'm working on something a lot bigger than your business, all this stuff. And uh, yeah, it's it's like these type of guys and you'll get 
so many people in your life that try to bring you down and a lot of a lot of guys will just start hating on you when you just start to outperform them and just do way better than them and the only other thing you could do is just ignore them because they're never gonna really gonna prove they're always gonna be stuck in their old self and they're gonna just be stuck in 9 to 5 for the rest of their life so there's no point of you in interacting with them and now he's at university probably gonna just get a 9 to 5 for the rest of his life and just be pretty uh, miserable but he might not even realize it but who knows anyways Next step. So after Europe, I actually go back to Whistler because the guys had a few things to take care of back home. And essentially, I stayed here for, I think, uh, two months. Now, in this two months, I just went a lot of skiing. I kind of fell back into my old self, right? Because one part of me was living this whole dream lifestyle, all this stuff, and I started hanging out with old friends when I got back. Not not really a good thing to do. Anyways, I decided I had enough, and I decided to go on a solo trip to Colombia alone. Okay, so we're currently in Colombia right now. It is actually June 1st at midnight, boys. Just hired my second closer today. Now, this was about 30 days long, and I went to this super, super small town. No one spoke a lick of English. Like, there was just absolutely no English. I had to learn a bit of Spanish, and I obviously I pulled it off, and I essentially went to this very, very deep monk mode, and I just grinded my ass off. Now, after this 30 days, I actually went straight to Bali, and I started hanging out with Nick and another guy named Scott, who's also doing about 100k per month right now. Anyways, we stayed in this villa, and super, super chill. A lot, a lot of fun stuff going on. And actually, I'm flying from Bali to Miami and hanging out with Jordan there as well. And that's actually the most important part, which I'm going to talk about now, is actually networking. Because once I have Nick and Jordan with me, I could just tell them any problem I have or someone that I need to be introduced to that they know, and they can just do it. And it's just easy, simple, simple sorted. Because I met Jordan, he actually introduced me to about 20 different entrepreneurs in Miami, like like Gavin Mayo, Frozen, Leo Costano, Dustin, a bunch of these other super, super sick guys. And I'm still running the agency. Things are going very, very well. Eventually, after Miami, I just go back to Canada for a bit, and then I go straight to Dubai because me and Nick, we got on a call one day. We said, yo, let's go to Dubai. We literally booked flights at like 3 in the morning and then we, uh, we flew out like I think it was 2 days later as well. And then we meet up in Dubai, things are going very, very well. Anyways, I actually meet Charlie and Bo in person, we go for a dinner. There's Andrew Kirby there, Ed from Photo Booth, a bunch of these other super, super sick YouTubers with a lot of subs. And anyways, I started to build up my network there a lot and for 2 months, I had so, so, so much growth. I just felt like a completely different person and I just felt like I was on top of the world again, right? Because when you go to Dubai, your mindset just changes so, so, so much because there's like Lambos everywhere. I actually decided to rent a Lambo with, uh, with Nick and we just having so, so, so much fun. We set up the companies there, so now I'm actually officially tax-free. And uh, you know, also for the month of October, I also decided to spend 50K as well, which wasn't honestly too smart. All right guys, quick life update. Today we went on a yacht with a bunch of Russian girls and then I actually am at a penthouse club kind of thing right now. So I'm actually going to Poland in about three hours now. And, uh... and I was actually, when I was in Dubai, I actually co-hosted this dinner with Oscar and there was a bunch of other super super sick guys about there. And actually I also personally invited David Trey and also William Brown to that dinner. And a bunch of other guys came super super sick and eventually I started talking to a few of them. And they actually invited me to a Cape Town villa, which actually Thomas Gaunt is staying in right now, which I actually probably will be going to in about two weeks from now. Anyways, and actually at the time, me and Nick did set up our companies there, so we're officially tax-free. Now I'm making about 50k per month profit after tax at 21 years old. Not really anyone else is pulling this off, which I feel like is pretty crazy. And like I said, I want to cover the main reasons I was actually able to do that. So the main thing is networking and just trying to literally connect with everyone in the space. You actually have no idea what one connection can turn into. For example, Charlie Morgan, he introduced me to all the YouTubers. And from there, I started connecting with more of them. And then they introduced me to more people. So it's just a positive, positive feedback loop. The second thing is actually just visualizing so, so, so much and using concepts like reality transurfing, Neville Gardner, kind of concepts like these. Now, the third thing is actually having a massive ego only when it benefits you, right? Not when it negatively affects you. So not in a way where, oh, I'm not going to listen to that person because I'm, I'm better than them. That's, that's a terrible thing to do. But the main thing is you want to have a massive ego when it comes to thinking that you're better than who you are, right? And just having this massive, massive self-confidence and just massive self-belief, even if it's completely delusional, right? Because when I was at 0K months, I had absolutely no fucking idea what I was doing, right? I was completely clueless and I just developed a massive ego and I thought that I was just a super, super hype guy. I just knew what I was doing and eventually it came true, right? Now, I still feel like I'm not even close to where I wanna be right now because there's a long, long, long way to go. But anyways, now mostly I am focusing on my mentorship business. So actually I just scaled this one guy from zero to 30K per month in 60 days, uh, which is two months, which actually beat my record from zero to 30K a month in five months. And uh, also I scaled, actually scaled from zero to 50K per month in 90 days, right? No one else in the market's getting these type of results, uh, which is pretty crazy. And also actually got this other guy scale from zero to 30K per month in I think 90 days while he was working nine to five. So that's pretty crazy. Also got a bunch of other crazy results like 0 to 10K month in 44 days, stuff like that. But yeah, if you guys want to start hitting your goals as soon as possible, whether it's 10K month, 50K month, 100K month, whatever it is, all within a few weeks with SMMA, uh, yeah, just DM me on Instagram. It would pretty much get started. I mean, ideally, you already have a few clients, but 
Uh, it's whatever everyone can apply to work with me and let's get back to the video. That's kind of a side note. Didn't really want to pitch you guys. Just want to mention that. I hate viewing myself as successful because that's when you get lazy, but I truly do. I am somewhat successful because everyone who didn't believe in me and everyone kind of doubted me is all way, way, way behind me. And now I'm essentially way above them, right? I'm making over 10 times their income and working probably less than half the hours as well. And also I have full location freedom, which I think is the most, most important thing. Because if I wanted to tomorrow, I could literally book a flight to any single place I want in the world and I could go there. I could bring my backpack or a suitcase and there's nothing hold nothing holding back right because in a nine to five it's crazy how fucked it is people don't actually realize how fucked you're getting if you work a nine to five right because your energy is getting drained super super hard you're getting told what to do by a guy that you don't like you're getting told where to be by a girl you don't like and you're also told how to act by a guy that you don't like and the more you go on this journey guys you'll realize how more fucked the matrix is and how more fucked all the npcs are you'll start to view everyone as an absolute npc as you start making a lot more money and also work less the hours like if you're just working a finance job like come on man like get, get a grip like you're not actually doing anything for society right i do have a lot of respect for you know firemen doctors all these people that actually do contribute to society but besides that that's kind of all i gotta say all right, I'm actually gonna cover the last points that you guys actually have to take away in this video because they're very, very important and there's actually a lot, lot to learn from this whole story. Now, like I said, the first one was networking. The second one would be isolated from old friends and also killing off the old version of yourself, which is very, very, very important. Uh, also traveling just as soon as possible, right? So I honestly wish I did start traveling earlier on, but pretty much as soon as you hit 5K months, bro, get right into it. Try to network with guys in the space and just split a villa. So for example, actually one of my mentees, he just hit 50K per month and he actually just went up to Bali. And actually I introduced him with someone else in my network and now they're just splitting a villa together. Now they're having time in life so they're probably gonna go to Dubai after, I think Switzerland as well after. So that kind of just shows you the whole power of networking and just who you have in your network. But more importantly, that person will keep you so, so, so self-accountable. And the energy that you get in these villas, guys, is crazy because when you live with other entrepreneurs in the same villa, it's like this whole, it's like this whole mindset thing that just, you're all, all of your minds start to come together and you just feel like you're on top of the world. It's like the best feeling ever. I recommend everyone, everyone doing it. Now, another thing is actually understanding paradigms and actually how they work. So paradigms are essentially the way that you view the world and all of your belief systems uh, and kind of how that actually affects your life. And paradigms will affect your life the most. So understanding the idea of paradigms and also how they work is very, very important because, but anyways, now I actually view reality as a complete playground, right? I could literally get anything I want within weeks. So I've done this with everything. I've done this with Stripe accounts. I've done this with like, you know, monthly revenue, all that stuff. Uh, traveling, networking with certain guys like Mike Thurston and all this stuff. And it's all because of visualizing, which I'm actually gonna get into the next point now, which is visualizing and also reading the book, Reality Transurfing. So Reality Transurfing is a very, very, very important book. Now, Ayman Ghazi himself has mentioned that he's read it over a dozen times. And the first time he read it, he was 14 years old. So that alone will tell you how important it is, but I would definitely, definitely read into it. Because now, like I said, Reality Essentially Playground, I could, I'm getting the at Eric username on Instagram. And and I could just get whatever I want in life, right? I'm gonna be at 10K subs on YouTube very, very soon just because I have it already, right? Because I'm, I'm literally telling myself that I already have it. And eventually I'll get there extremely fast. So I will be at 10K subs and also this video will blow the fuck up a lot. Uh, anyways, the next thing is actually delusional self-belief early on is developing massive ego, like I said, blah, blah, blah. And also viewing pain is the best thing possible. So actually viewing pain is currency, right? Because when you're cold calling, that's a lot of pain, right? When you're going to the gym, that's a lot of pain, right? When you're talking to girls that you don't really want to talk to, that's a lot of pain because you're scared, that's a lot of pain. The only way to be successful is just go through a fuck ton of pain. And essentially, this actually this is actually how success works, right? So here's you, and here's the end of the tunnel. And essentially, loaded up is just a bunch of pain that you have to go through, and that's that's all it is, right? You have to just walk through. You have to go through the pain, get really fucking aggressive, and just eventually you'll get there. And that's actually exactly how it works. Um, the next thing is actually just critical thinking, and always always trying to innovate yourself, and always trying to innovate your business to be the best thing on the market, because that's actually the only thing that matters is just client results, because then you can leverage that into case studies. Eventually, you'll leverage that into closing more deals. And the next thing is actually just getting a mentor early on. So the, actually, the main reason I was actually able to be so successful because I had a mentor. Not because of the course I joined, sorry Charlie, but it was honestly mainly the mentor. I'm not even biased here, looking back at it, that was honestly the main reason I was able to succeed so fast. So if you guys are interested, just DM me on Instagram at Eric or at Eric.Cavalars and we can have a little chat and I'll see if you're the right fit. Right, because in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, there's no group coaching, there's no course, there's no uh, community, there's no PDFs, there's no videos. It's literally just private, exclusive one-on-one -on -one calls. And I'm just gonna be showing you how to hit your goals as fast as physically possible. So 10K month, 50K month, 100K month, whatever it is. Doesn't matter if you're already at 10K month, that's even more ideal if you compare it at zero. Anyways, I don't wanna get too much into it, but that's essentially the whole setup. Now, the next thing is actually increasing testosterone, right? Because when you actually increase your test, you start to just get, you start to just destroy everything in your path, right? Nothing is gonna stop you from hitting your goals. People's beliefs, people's opinions, or how much pain you're gonna
enough to go through, literally nothing stops you from actually going through it. And also you have more energy, you're able to work over 12 hours a day, and you just have this brutal, brutal self-confidence, which is very, very, very important, like I mentioned earlier, to actually get achieve your goals. And also the main thing, the last thing I'm actually gonna talk about here is people just don't want it bad enough, right? People are so, so half-assed on this whole agency stuff and actually making it and escaping the whole nine to five stuff, right? Once you burn the bridges, right? And once you drop out, once you do all the stuff, tell everyone to get fucked, isolate, and just cut out everyone, that's when you really, really make it work. Because if you're so, if you're all half in all this stuff, guys, it's a very, very low chance that's gonna work. You have to fully, fully burn the bridges and just go all in and just put all the belief on yourself. And it's gonna be a journey, right? It's gonna be painful as shit. And it's also gonna be very, very, very life changing. And you're, you're essentially gonna transcend into this new person and you're gonna kill off the old version of yourself. And also what's next is essentially just 200K per month uh, profit also after tax and also networking with Iman soon and also Luke Belmar. I actually have a bunch of mutual friends with him now, so it should be pretty, pretty easy to do. Uh, also to own Eric on IG, I do actually own that. I'm probably gonna buy it today or tomorrow if I do wanna do it. And actually 10K subs on YouTube, so I actually have 10K subs right now, if you guys know what I mean with reality transurfing. Uh, anyways, and also just keep on going, just keep traveling, right? I feel like that's all what life is about, just having fun, constantly growing, networking with everyone, and obviously having ultimate time and location freedom. That is the ultimate pure flow state of life, is when you can literally book a flight to any country you want tomorrow and there's nothing holding you back that's when life is the absolute best because when you're in a nine to five you don't have the freedom to do anything essentially right you have two weeks of vacation a year which is so bad like i don't know how people pull it off right but two weeks vacation with actually staying insane but anyways that's uh, that's pretty much the whole video guys i if you are watching this at the end i really really appreciate you and i absolutely love you man uh thank you for watching this now this life is just starting and i know that it's going to be a very very fun one Right, because I'm essentially the top 0.0001% for my age right now. And I'm not trying to say that to be egotistical. I'm just trying to let you guys know how lucky I was and also how grateful I am for this. Um, essentially, that's pretty much it, guys. I absolutely love you if you are keeping watching this, like I said. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. And actually, the next video is actually going to be about networking, right? So how I actually network with Mike Thurston, Andrew Kirby, Ed from Photo Booth, all these other YouTubers and top guys in the space like Charlie Morgan, David Dre, Jack Hopkins, all these other guys. But that's it, guys. And I will see you in the next one. I love you. Cheers.